If you're new to the furry fandom, you might be asking how making friends here is any different than normal, and the truth is, not that much. Hey everyone, I'm Soren, and welcome back to Furry 101, the series where I'll be giving you some tips for how to be a member of the furry fandom. And today, I'll be teaching you some ways that you can make furry friends. Becoming friends with people is something that happens naturally over time, but it's not something that comes as easily to everyone. And there's a few things about the furry fandom to keep in mind that might help you out. There's plenty of ways to meet other furries, like using social media, going to furry conventions, starting your own furry club. But if you're having some trouble, here are a few ways to help you make some furry friends. The number one thing I can recommend to you is to start using social media. Use popular platforms that furries commonly use, such as Twitter, Instagram, or Tumblr. Social media is already a tool that people use to connect with one another outside the fandom, so this comes in really handy when you want to start meeting new people. You can use social media to follow people that make posts that you like, or follow people that you want to get to know. Start interacting with other accounts by leaving thoughtful comments, or maybe even send them direct messages if they have them open. On that note, here's something important you should know about DMs. First, check to see if the account owner has them open, and many people have open DMs, but specifically state that they don't like getting simple hi messages with nothing more to say. I know that the people who send these kinds of messages usually mean no harm and are just trying to be friendly, but please understand that sometimes people don't appreciate these kinds of messages, since they don't really like to have small talk with people that they just met. A lot of the times, people will put in their bio whether or not their DMs are open, or if they're DM friendly, and these are the kinds of people who you can freely contact via direct messages. Something else I highly recommend doing is to start using communication-based apps. If you feel socially anxious about meeting new people face-to-face, -face, this is a really great alternative. Discord and Telegram are popular examples that furries use too. You can join Discord servers and group chats and start talking to a bunch of other furries at the same time. Or you can privately message people too, if group chats aren't really your thing. Something to keep in mind though in regards to messaging people, don't just send a random stranger a message asking to be friends with them with zero context. Think about if someone did this in real life. You don't just walk up to people and ask, OMG hi, can we be friends? Yeah, that only works in movies and sitcoms. If someone did this to you in real life out of context, you might be a little weirded out. So the same goes for making furry friends, and any friends in general. Making friends is a natural process that comes from two people enjoying shared interests as they find more things about each other to connect over. And if you feel anxious about starting a conversation with someone new, you can start by talking about common furry interests as a way to break the ice. A super easy and almost guaranteed common interest that you can talk about is your fursonas, so try starting with that if you're having trouble picking conversation topics. But in my opinion, I feel like it's easier to make friends in person, so you can get a better idea of what that person is like. Now this is just me, and it might be the exact opposite for you. However, if you feel the same way I do, you might have better luck making friends at furry events and gatherings. You know, when they start up again, and not in the middle of a pandemic. But when they do, try looking up local furry meets in your area. Sometimes, furries around your local area will plan organized events and meetings for furries to go out and have fun. These can be things that range from outdoor activities, bowling, public fursuiting, or just chilling with each other somewhere. You can normally stay up to date with these kinds of events on social media, so check to see where the group announces their future fur meets so you don't miss out on them. But the all-time number one place to meet other furries has got to be by going to a furry convention. A furry convention, or a furry con for short, is a large public event where tons of furries gather from around the world to meet with and have fun with one another. There are tons of them that are hosted worldwide, but the most popular and most frequent ones occur in the US. So basically, take the idea of a fur meet that I previously mentioned and magnify it. Furry cons host plenty of fun events like dance competitions and panels where you'll get the chance to meet and talk to other furries. The specifics of whatever the convention has to offer will depend on which con you end up going to, but the gist of all of them is that it's a great place to meet with fellow members of the furry fandom and make other furry friends. Overall, the key to making friends in the furry fandom is to treat it like making friends anywhere else. Don't overthink things too much. If you get a good vibe from someone and want to try and befriend them, do your best to start a conversation with them. How did you meet some of your furry friends? And if you don't have any yet, how do you plan on interacting more with the fandom? I'd love to hear how you made or plan to make furry friends, so let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more helpful furry content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe!
But until next time, see ya!